hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi welcome my name is Raya and in today's video I've got a comparison video so you guys really like the skirt that I showed you guys from commando last week like the ways to style it and so this week I wanted to find a cheaper alternative because commandos at a higher price point and I wanted to see if you can get just as good quality. Sorry, my cat is going berserk. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you this side by side, then I'll try it on. So this is from Boohoo. This is very affordable. Um, however, like you will see that it has this um, elasticated little waistband. Um, but when you have it on, it should be more like this. And you will see, so it looks all the same until you get to the hem. I don't love the hem and again it's like it's nicely lined so you know this is going to stretch over and hug you in which is great um but the hem is like this whereas the commando one you've got a raw hem um you still have a slit here you don't have a zipper or anything again same as commando and then with the commando one you can immediately it feels it doesn't feel as soft so it's like proper i guess vinyl so anyways what I like about this, it's more kind of like, it's got the curves for your hips. So you can see here, this is the waist bit and then the middle bit here where you can see the dip. And it's more of a raw hem as well. So it looks a lot more classier. It is for pencil. The Boohoo one is actually, um, I, I wanted more of a midi, so I got the tall range. I probably should have just stuck to the regular, but I couldn't find a petite or a regular. So this, so the Boohoo one will be like a proper midi, which is nice, I think. Okay, so this is the skirt, and I'm like really shocked, you guys. This is very comfortable. The waistband actually looks fine. Like, it doesn't look so bad. This is a size 8, and you can see my ring light reflection. Someone mentioned that. Sorry, guys. I do have to use a ring light in my living room. Um... But this is very comfortable. This is, it's very wearable as well. So, I mean, this top is quite, it's not long, but it's like, it's not cropped. So, really you want, you don't want it ultra cropped. You want it like a little bit like this. So, you've got a waist or to tuck it in. But it feels super duper comfy. The fabric feels very comfortable on you. And I think it's because it's got a lining. It feels really nice. And I love the length. This is a UK um, 8. I got an 8 and a 10, but I tried the 8 one and this is fine. And this is a tall range. Again, they didn't have um, petite and they didn't have a regular. Um, but I prefer a midi length. A midi length is more my style. It's more flattering on my figure. And I really dislike my knees. That's a really weird thing to say, but I don't like my knees. So I love covering it up. This has... The slit, so this is 100% more wearable. Like, I can feel very comfortable in this. Um, I can walk in this. I don't feel uncomfortable when I'm walking. Like, the Commando, I will try it on in a minute. I was a bit like that. But this one, I've walked up the stairs as well to go and get some shoes. I've just got these shoes that I found in the box. Um, <laughs> these actually go really well. So. I really like the shoes. I feel um, like this is a very classy outfit because you've got a high neck or if you wanted a boat neck, then I really love this combination together. Now I wanna show you guys more of a close up of this seam so you can really like see the quality in this. For the price point, this is great. It should be a bit more like taut, but it's okay. Like. It's still very comfortable. It sucks you in here. Um, and I think I'm going to try on a bodysuit with this. I want to see how the vinyl bodysuit looks with this, like tucked in. I really love that. I prefer the length of this than with Commando. This is very, I'm very much warming. I think I'm always preferring this. But it does have the hem. The hem isn't as like high fashion as the other one the hem is a little bit kind of rounded at the bottom whereas commando is literally a raw hem it's very sharp it's very crisp it looks immaculate but again you are like 
you are paying for like more of a premium fabric. The lining in here is very much, you know, it sucks you in, this quality. This feels nicer like to wear. This looks probably, I don't know if it looks nicer on. So I'm gonna try it on so you guys can see. There's a seam at the back here. So you'll see a seam going all the way down to the bottom. And then with Commando, they also have a seam. So in this seam is here. So the seam runs all the way down from the top to the bottom. So. I do really love, but I'm very comfortable in this. I'm don't, I forgot how much it was now because it was supposed to come last week and then it came on the Monday. So I'm just gonna check to see how much it was. And um, where did I buy it from? Boohoo, boohoo, boohoo. Oh, wow. I, um, okay. This is definitely a winner because of the price point that it is. I'm actually really shocked. I think it's on sale. But for the price that it is, depending how often you're going to wear like a vinyl skirt, like this season, Halloween, winter, um, I would also probably put a nice belt if you've got a nice branded belt or just like a leather belt. Um, this would look really cool. So you go from vinyl to leather to like a matte black. Um, and that would look really cool. Um, I'm shocked about the price, really shocked. It literally is a fraction of the cost for the Commando. Um, and yeah, you know, the hem I don't love. I don't love the hem. It's maybe if I steam the inside because it's like a little bit like, I don't know. Very, very comfortable. It fits. I feel like maybe you could either go down the side because there is plenty of room in here to manoeuvre. Um, I really like this skirt. I'm actually shocked. I'm gonna put the commanding one on now. Okay guys, so this is the Commando one. Now, it's more of like, it really sucks you in. It's more got, it's definitely got more of a control factor, which I love. Um, I don't know if there's like a little bit, oh no, there's not too much of a spillage actually. It does really suck you in. I love the fact that it doesn't have that little waist belt. Um, not the waist belt, the elasticated waistband, because it's built in all around here. It's hard because they are bang on the same. Um, I've put, last week I pulled this all the way up. This week I've got it here. So the length is the same. It's the exact same length. And the back bit with the slit, it's the same. Definitely the same. Obviously the hemline is as I've shown you before. I really like the high neck top with this. I feel like if you want to do vinyl and you want to go out with it, and this is the way to do it, to make it look very kind of high-end and high-fashion. Um, I really like <laughs> Oh, God, it's so difficult. I'm supposed to be comparing it for you guys, and I really like them both. The trouble is, I cannot keep them both. Um, this definitely is more of a contour and more of a shapewear. If you're not too fussed about it, then, you know, I would go for the cheaper version, personally. But if you want that sculpted look, and that is big on your priority list, then the Commando one is probably something you want. Bear in mind, this is a lot more harder to get on because it is literally putting your thick thighs and like squeezing your cheeks over this to get it into here. Um, so this is the back bit. I don't know what, what looks nicer. Like if my bum looks nicer in this or if it looks nicer in the um, other one as well. As I said, this is more kind of tighter around here. The other one is easier to move in, um, but this does contour you a little bit more. It's not as comfortable as the other one, um, but this is very hard. It's very hard. Cause you could like go for dinner, you could eat and you don't need to worry. Like if you're in this, then you can sit down and you know, the other one you have a lot more room. This is like very kind of sculpting. It really sculpts. It feels more expensive because it is a more expensive fabric. Um, but the look is ultimately the same. Guys, look at my hair. I don't know what's happened here, but 
like I'm just a whole lot of a frizz ball today so excuse my hair it's just I don't know I'm looking like you know a child's like a dog like you know the dogs with their floppy like fluffy hairy ears that's me today this is hard and um, this waistband there is a bit of spillage that comes out so when you sit down the top bit kind of rolls whereas the other one doesn't roll as much but when you're standing it's fine this is very difficult um i don't know guys i'm really struggling to decide which one i prefer i think if you're gonna if you're gonna have to look at it from a budget point of view then without any doubt the boohoo one is great value for money you get the same look and it still hugs you you know it still is flattering on a curvy and petite person um and especially if you've got thick thighs because it will kind of stop at the smallest point of your body which is normally the ankle you know the shins around this area for me anyways and it's just very flattering i can wear something you know i can pull this up and make it more kind of high-waisted so this is great in that regard but again uh cost wise and comfort as well the other one is way more comfortable but just have a look at the slit and everything else um you know um i do love this this is going to be very hard i think this is where i'm going to need your guys is opinion because i know they're probably going to look the same to a lot of you but there is a slight difference and I hopefully i'll do the split screen where you can see side by side of how they are looking um this does roll down like it like look it will just go like this but i mean it's not the end of the world really because okay now let's try this on with a the vinyl bodysuit that i have so this is like my favorite vinyl top this is probably one of my favorite outfits with the commando skirt love 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 i have pulled this up a little higher so it's a little bit like just below my knee but as long as it covers my knee i don't mind the length of this um so it does suck you in this is more of the back bit um and i love this together this waist um the waistband here is absolutely seamless so you could like wear it as a dress because it is so seamless even if you wanted to wear a shirt if you wanted to wear a shirt under this i would say um go for a bodysuit type of shirt so it's kind of a bit more skimming here because that because you don't see any of the shirt and then you've got the shirt um so that's another way to wear it but i just wanted to show you more going out and i want to show you two coats to complete the outfit for going out so if you wanted to have more of a sexy vibe then this leopard um print coat this is from karen millen is absolutely like amazing it's very very lovely it's a trench style coat so I love this it's very light so it's not warm at all the sleeves are long on me so i always have to like fold it like this but then you've got this bit that looks a bit weird so you know it's something you want to probably go to your dry cleaner and tell them to kind of fix but i mean come on with a dress like this no one's be looking at your wrists trust me so the back bit i love I just love this overall. I'm not sure if I like the belt with this coat, but you know, it will do. It will do. So yeah, if you wanted to look a bit more kind of classy, depending on where you're going. Say for example, you are going to, I don't know, um, sexy fish. Then this is a great outfit. Or if you're going to like a nouveau restaurant vibe, then this is great. But if you are going somewhere like, I don't know, Scots or somewhere a little bit kind of, it's a bit more like more classy and not so sexy. I don't know if this makes any sense or if I'm being helpful, but I would change the coat out. So I would stick with a little bag for the sexiness, for um, a sexy outfit. And I don't have my Chanel bag down here, it's upstairs, but 
if I did, then I'm going to change this, um, this coat. This is a shirling coat. It's a white shirling coat and you can just, it just feels so much more classier. I don't know if it's because it's an all white color or it's the shirling, but the length on this is perfect because I hate when you've got like a longer length dress and the jacket doesn't match where this one definitely does. Like I absolutely love this. This has always been a weird coat for me because of the neckline. It's like got this, which I love. This had buttons on it before. So you could button up or here and here, but I hated the way it looked. So I took all the buttons off and I thought, no, I'm gonna wear it like this. And when I'm wearing it in the winter, I always like will wear like a jumper or if I'm, like, if I'm wearing it during the day, if I'm wearing it for dinner, then I would honestly just hold it like this, have my handbag in one hand and just like walk like this because at least it gives you something to do with your hands right um i don't know if you guys have that problem like you've got your hand you walk and you don't know what to do with your hand is that really weird or do you guys comment down below and let me know like, if you hold your hand back, ladies i don't know if guys would get this so much but because you probably put your hand in your pocket so i don't i really don't know what you guys do but handbag you've got your handbag and then this hand is like doing nothing and then you got it here like this and then your hand again is just doing nothing so i've got a habit of just like holding my coat or doing like this um i don't like to hold my phone in my bag unless someone swipes it you know living in london regardless of what part you are it can happen be warned um or anywhere in the world to be honest with you but I don't know, I like this and also I like to do, I like to have it open depending if I'm warm or cold, um, if I want to show more of my outfit off then I will tuck two in so then you can see the shirling all the way down. But anyways, my point is if you want to class this up, stick some pearl earrings on, stick a pearl necklace on um, and the shoes I think are great with this. So this is like a classier way to maybe wear it so let me know what you guys think this might be my uh, birthday outfit it might be an outfit that I'll probably wear with my husband for his birthday but I have another dress for that so I might leave that for another time but I do really like this a lot anyways I am going back to the skirt now because I'm digressing this is the um, commando I'm now going to put on the boohoo one to give you guys more of a better idea of how that looks all together so you've had a good look at this you've had a good look at the seam um you've had a good look of how seamless it goes with the top so now i'm going to try on the other one okay so this is the boohoo one now as you can see you can see the waist belt but it doesn't look as bad just the, the moment i put this on it feels a lot more comfier it doesn't like do what it does to me with the other one because it doesn't hug but actually no tell a lie it's still like it's not as but there's still that element like can you see it kind of here you've got some fabric a lot loose fabric here but i don't know and here like it goes over it doesn't suck this part in though let me just move a little bit further back like this but is not like a full pencil like it doesn't like grab you from here whereas the commando one does kind of hold you in all the way and all around but this is very comfortable like if you want to be comfortable and you want to like be able to wear something like this then stick with this one i like the commando purely for the fact that it holds you in and at the moment i feel like i need to be held in <laughs> i need a hug from the skirt but if you don't then fine you could probably size down so if you are a size 10 you could definitely squeeze into this um, and for it to hold you in I want to try a six because obviously a six I don't know this runs big so if you want to hold you in a bit more then maybe a six would hold you in a bit more and be that little bit kind of tighter um, but I am conscious that it's a little bit longer because it is a tall range but I love the midi length Middle length is great. Now let's turn around and look at the back a bit, bit better. So it, as you can see, like it doesn't suck you in, but this is holding you in anyways, this top, but this is the back bit. So the back bit for me 
it looks too messy like there's too much fabric there's not enough supports in the belt like it's not a belt the waistband like can you see this back bit looks like it doesn't look great like I, I really don't like this bit but again that's only if you are wearing a bodysuit. It doesn't necessarily have to be a vinyl bodysuit, but any bodysuit you're wearing, or even like a really small top or a bralette top. If you're, look, I would say bodysuit, because this is like that, but if you're wearing a top, then the top will sit just over, so it doesn't bother you. From the front, it's fine. It's just the back bit that I don't love. So I would say this is a good comparison of wearing it with a bodysuit but i've worn it with the top and i've already shown you guys that you cannot see this so it doesn't really bother me if i'm wearing a top but the bodysuit it looks a bit messy and not as classy like at the back so let me know what you guys think so guys that is it from me for today i really hope that you enjoyed the video and it gave you a good comparison of the skirt the quality um even the sizing and which one you guys would go for because they are extremely extremely similar if not the same it's the fine detail that you will see close up um, and for me it's all about sculpting as well this uh boohoo one that i've got on now doesn't sculpt me as much as the commando one but remember the commando one has a built-in fabric that is designed to suck you in whereas this one does not so you're paying more i guess for that as well and this doesn't make as much noise when you're wearing it that's one thing i forgot to mention whereas the commando one does make some noise so you definitely want powder or uh, baby oil or something like that but anyways um yeah i want to hear your comments what do you guys think which one are you guys going to go for um and i want to show you guys more of my home because there's been more changes and we've taken the partition down to the hallway so anyways it's still a mess um so I'm just going to take you guys in. Anyways, we've taken the partition down. We've left some stuff down here. That's just a bin. My electrician has left that. Don't get me started on him. Um, we've got the original parquet blocks that came with the house. Um, and this threshold here. We've got some crittle doors. And this is my cat. Look at my cat. Hey, cat. Cat. Yeah, say hello to our friends. Say hello to our friends, Tommy. Tommy, don't be like that now. That's it. <laughs> anyways, um, anyways, this is now the opening. So it looks a lot bigger. You'll come in, you've got crystal doors this way, and then you'll come into this space. So we've just got the temporary fridges at the moment, obviously. The kitchen is delivered, being delivered first week of November um, because it's ready to go end of October, but it's, you know, it's not ready just yet. Well, we're not ready just yet to um, take the delivery because as you can see, the concrete floor <laughs> is still a mess. Um, so we want to paint the walls. And the main important thing is to have the tiling down so we can have the kitchen, we can accept the kitchen, otherwise there's nowhere to put it, it's gonna get damaged. And we really don't want that on such an expensive item for the house. Anyways, I wanna show you guys outside because at the moment, we've got, my builder is putting in the echo drain. Um, so we're gonna have this tiled over to have it more seamless. So we're gonna have the floor running from inside to outside. This is going to be the patio. Uh, we've got more garden at the back. It goes all the way around. But at the moment, I'm just going to show you guys this. I'm not going to go out. We've got a trench here. So I'm going to have like a flower bed at the end. Stairs in the middle and stairs going down. Oh, okay. Tom, your paws are disgusting. Okay, his paws are muddy. But he's so cute. I love it. Oh, Tommy. Come on, I've just had a shower, Tom. Oh, he's just put mud on my foot. I really don't like mud. Tommy, I really don't like mud. I can't believe you just did this to me. I know. This is very gross. But anyways. Um, so yeah, stairs. The stairs are going to be the same width as this pane of glass. 
in the center it'll be centered outside not here and then flower bed on each side flower bed here and then stairs going down so we've had a bit more of a clear out compared to last last time you saw it all here is going to be like basically taken down we're gonna just to take everything up from this garden start a new put a new lawn down and um, at the back over there the woodlands we're gonna have a little tidy up because the shrubs are just looking like crazy right now so yeah anyways that is the update look at my hair guys i just really love the lighting back here i can't wait until i can like sit here film here or film upstairs where the lighting is the same as well because we get sunlight in the morning it comes all the way around to here so good lighting Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the update and the video. And I really can't wait to see you guys soon.